Assalamu alaikum everyone my name is Mohammed Bakar and welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you all are doing good this video is going to be very informative and interesting at the same time because we are going to talk about the medical studies in Norway and for that purpose I have Arham with me who is a medical sure. student in University of Oslo and we are going to ask your questions to him so let's start the video let's do it All right, so would you please like to introduce yourself, Arham, please? Yes, okay, so as you already mentioned, my name is Arham and I'm a fourth year medical student here at the University of Oslo in Norway. Um, and I'm also a YouTuber where I talk about, you know, medical, like yeah. as a medical student here in Norway. Um, and I should really show you guys how it's like being a medical student here in Norway. Not, even, not only the application procedures and stuff like that, yeah. uh, but also, you know, vlogs about being a medical student, you so, know, sh showing the hospital life and all that stuff. Yeah, so, so if you want to come to Norway for medical studies, you should definitely check out his channel. Sure, thank you. I am us about um, the application procedure for medical students in yes. Norway. How is it for especially Asian students if yes. someone is from Pakistan, India or other okay. parts of Asia? Okay, so here are like two aspects of the same problem. So firstly, uh, how do you apply for medical school here in Norway if you have not completed your medical school or if you have not studied medicine here in Norway or in your home country, let's say India or Pakistan. And the second aspect is like for people who have already done their MBBS degrees yeah. from India or Pakistan and are like qualified doctors in their home country, how can they come to Norway in order to start practicing as medical doctors? So firstly, let's talk yeah. about, you know, if you are just a student or yeah. completed high that's school and wanted to, want to pursue MBBS. The first thing is, we all need to know this, that medical school here in Norway is taught in Norwegian. All right. So it's not like your master's degree where you can sp simply survive with speaking English. So yeah. The first main barrier is that you have to know uh, the Norwegian language because the entire degree is taught in Norwegian. Mm -hmm. That's very, very important, guys. And secondly, also, even now medical school here is actually completely free of cost. All you have to pay is a semester fee of 1,200 uh, $1, US dollars. Okay. Far, apart from that, there is no more tuition fee, and this one, this semester fee is basically, you know, for for facility for facilities like you know the printers or libraries and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, there is no tuition fee, so yeah, medical school is free. And secondly, you need to learn Norwegian. And thirdly, it's extremely competitive uh, for students for students who complete their like college or high school here in Norway. You need to have um you know you need to have easily around six. 0 0.0 GPA or ab even above that with some extra points for students who have done their um, high school here in Norway and that's like the highest GPA requirements in the country amongst all other studies. How so, is it when it comes to the percentage? Uh, yes, if you have to uh, quantify that in terms of the percentage in you know countries like Pakistan or India, yeah. it's easily around above 96-97% from let's say FSC or your pre-medical um, course. That's quite so a high percentage. extremely competitive, yes. Yeah. And now let's talk about the, the application procedure. Yeah. So firstly, you need to like, complete your uh, high school or college from your home country, let's say Pakistan or India. And the thing is that the tricky part over here is that, you know, Norway does not really accept your local high school as it is. So your local high school is accepted as being equivalent to the Norwegian high school if you have what if you have completed your FSC let's say mm -hmm. and then you have one year one year of university uh, in education. addition to that so that means you need to complete 13 years of education before you come to Norway. yes yes okay. so high school plus one year university education equals or corresponds to the, to high school here in yeah. Norway so that's extremely important without uh, without that you're not eligible to apply All right. So one year of university plus uh, FSC with extremely good grades, and then also do have you have some subject requirements. So you must have had physics, chemistry, and maths in your high school, high school if you want to study medicine here in Norway. Uh, biology is actually surprisingly not a requirement. That's so, quite a surprise. Yeah. So physics, chemistry, and maths are the three main requirements. You must have these three subjects. Right. Uh, that's like the requirement when it comes to. Uh, subjects if you want to grades. come to study if you want to here. study medicine here okay. so what are the requirements when yes. you have already done your medical in Pakistan or let's say in India and you yes. want to come here and practice your uh, or continue your job here uh, yeah if, if you are a qualified doctor mm -hmm. from from like India Pakistan and the thing is that you know it's the problem is that if you want to come to Norway to practice as a doctor you need to get a visa first right mm -hmm. and it's very rare that they grant a visa to somebody who has not already secured their job through an online process right mm -hmm. so if you don't have if you haven't really gotten yes for a job in Norway while you are sitting in your home country, you won't really get a visa. 
So you need to have a job secured first in like Norway before they can grant you a visa. And that's extremely rare because you are a medical doctor. And again, if you want to work as a medical doctor over here, you need to learn Norwegian, guys. That's extremely important. You cannot practice as a doctor before learning Norwegian. And the language requirements are up to the B2 level. B2 level. You need to clear that language uh, language exam uh, to the B2 level before you are eligible. And sorry, sorry to interrupt you, but can we do that back in our country? Yes, you can actually. Okay. Uh, you can start learning Norwegian on your own. There are great books on the internet. You can use some YouTube channels. There are quite a lot of YouTube channels which teach yeah. Norwegian as well. So you can start learning on your own, and then you can clear, uh, take your Norwegian language exam in your home country. And I actually have an entire video on this. I you can maybe yeah, link definitely. it over here somewhere on this on this exact process. And then secondly, let's talk about. Uh, um, uh, firstly, firstly, we have the language requirement yeah. and then secondly, the problem is that if you want to come to Norway to practice as a doctor, the easiest way, uh, the best way to get the visa is actually to apply for a student visa for, ma for a master's program in some other medical related degree. For example, right. neuroscience, two yeah. two year masters in neuroscience or a two year masters in microbiology or a two years masters in, in, in molecular medicine any other health or medicine related field yeah for a two years masters and by the way that masters program all masters programs are in english so for to apply for that masters in english you don't need to learn norwegian so you can simply apply if you have ielts and your ielts and, IELTS yeah. and you know uh, if you fulfill the english language requirements yeah. so once you have let's say applied for uh, let's say neuroscience right and you get your admission, you get your visa, uh, and you come to Norway. Now, once you are here, the challenge is basically over. Once you come to get to Norway, you ha you start your studies, let's say masters in neuroscience, which you, which you can actually do part time. Yeah. And then at the same time, you can start learning Norwegian as well. Yeah. And once you clear your B2 level exam, then you can start preparing for your authorization, your medical licensing exam here as well, Perfect. which is also in Norwegian. Yeah. So once you clear your authorization exam, mm -hmm. then you basically get your license medical license to start practicing here in Norway even though you are you know pursuing a master's degree yeah and then you can start searching for jobs okay so there is no direct way to come here and work here that's the most doctors who actually come to Norway are like uh, come uh, uh, you know migrate to Norway through your spouse yeah. sponsorships and all that stuff yeah, okay uh, but it's extremely rare that somebody can simply apply from their home country it can happen, but the best yeah. way is actually you know, apply for a master's, master's, get to Norway first, get That's get your extremely feet. important. Yeah, yeah, land in Norway, and once you're here, everything is easy. everything's gonna, going to be fine for you. Okay, perfect. Thank you for walking walking us through the application process. Now let's talk about the medical studies in Norway. Mm. How is it, Aram? Is it? Um, let's talk about the duration first. Yes. What is the duration of medical studies? Uh, in the entire Europe, uh, medical degrees last for six years. Mm -hmm. So it's a six-year MD degree. It's not like you know India or Pakistan where you have a four-year or five year uh, MBBS and then you have your M uh, master's degree postgraduate. Mm -hmm. That's not how it works here. Here we have a six year degree called the MD degree, where, which is like a professional, which is called like the professional, uh, professional sorry, studies yeah. in Norway. So you will be a doctor yeah. after six years? After six years, you are a medical doctor and you are allowed to start practicing as a medical doctor and start your specialization. Mm, that's interesting. Mm. And how is the studies? Like, is it really difficult to pass or is it difficult than Pakistan? How would you compare it with other countries? Um, I think it's not really that difficult because, I mean, obviously medical studies are difficult. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. And the, and generally the level of medical degrees is the same across the entire world because, you know, yeah. you have to become a qualified medical doctor. So the level of difficulties uh, is quite similar because you are still learning the same thing, same concepts, you know, same subjects. Uh, but the one thing I feel about no the Norwegian medical school is that there is no pressure on medical students. You know, you if you okay. have you can you work hard if you work you know like uh, consistently throughout the year, you can easily breeze through medical school. It's not really that much of a big problem that you have to know every single thing. Okay. So yeah, and it's is it do it's doable pretty much easily? That's nice. Like is it and is it like that you have to do it in six years or you can extend it for more? Yes, years? you can actually extend. It if you want for how like, many years uh, I think it's a maximum for eight I think eight years okay uh, and by the way I think around 86% of students complete their six year degree in six years and mm. if you like, let, let's say there are, there are people who take some sort of a, like a, you know like a free gap year yeah w during the degree so if you get tired you know if you get stressed out you can take like a semester off okay. or you can take a one year gap year and then again continue your medical degree after that Okay, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's talk about how is your practice during your studies? How do you get the opportunity? Like you have yes. to apply for the practice in the hospitals or you mm -hmm. get the opportunity yourself? Okay, the thing is the best part actually is that for you know like for rotations and internships 
you don't really have to like apply actively because the university will do everything for you okay but let's say it's your summer vacation and you want to you know do some extra volunteer work mm -hmm. then you can you know, go to the hospital and you know t talk to the residents or to the to the chief of medicine or any other you know um, other um, people who work there yeah. as well and they will give you the internship which are not paid not paid that that's not a job that's just okay. an internship that's a volunteering work yeah that's okay. volunteer work but if you want to start working at a hospital most students actually do work part-time as well mm -hmm. at hospitals or like you know in like in uh, old homes and do in they get paid? nursing homes yes absolutely mm -hmm. the pay is very good as well mm -hmm. uh it's around uh, 200 norwegian kroners per hour which is around um 20 dollars per hour that's pretty good which is, which is actually very good yeah uh, so most students do work part-time including myself <laughs> uh, at like nursing homes hospitals uh, in like you know we have uh, these uh, you know like in, as nurses mm -hmm. vi visiting homes taking okay. care of people as well yeah so it's like a personal assistant personal assistant basically yeah, yeah. okay uh, or like a medical secretary at the hospital like a every, lot of opportunities lot of opportunities for mm -hmm. your for and actually your part time job it does not have to be medical related you okay. Yeah, work that, that, yeah, yeah. That was going to be my next question. Yeah. How can you do you work? Uh, can you work as a part-time student, like in odd jobs? Absolutely. For absolutely. 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 Mm -hmm. I mean, there are a lot of students who actually do work part-time in other fields, like you know, just at a, at a grocery store or actually you know some other sort of a yeah. store, simply because they want to do something that is not medical school related, mm -hmm. because you are studying all day, you know, all day long, you know, yeah, true. and you want to to do something that is not med school related. So. Completely possible that, and well. then you even have more opportunities because you know the language now. Yeah, actually, exactly, sure. and really, it really helps to get fluent in the Norwegian language when you're actually working. You know, speaking Norwegian day in day out. Okay, okay. Now let's talk about the opportunities as a medical student in Norway. Once you have finished your mm. studies, how would you describe that? Yes. Yeah, so what happens is once your six years are over, mm -hmm. then you are a qualified medical doctor All and right. you can start practicing as a doctor. But if you want to become a specialist, mm -hmm. let's say you want to be a surgeon or you want to be an, a specialist in internal medicine mm -hmm. or a skin doctor, skin specialist, or you know any uh, child specialist, yep. any specialized doctor, then you have to do this one and a half year thing called LIS1, which is called a Doctor in Specialization Part 1. Right. This is like the same one and a half year for everybody, for everybody. So you are basically working as a doctor. Mm -hmm. Uh, as a as like a as a junior doctor at a hospital uh, for one and a half years, uh, and okay. this is the same for everybody, independent of which specialization they want to be. So let's say okay. you want to be a surgeon, but yeah. I want to be a psychiatrist. Right. But we still have to do the, do the same 1.5 years in list one. And is it after those six years into the university? Yes, 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 okay. yes, yes. So once you're a medical doctor, six years are over, then and then you start practicing as a doctor and in this list one thing. So. In list one is basically doctor in specialization part one. So you are a doctor, you are working as a doctor, but you are a junior doctor at a hospital. All right, that's interesting. And after those 1.5 years, you basically, so let's say you want to be a surgeon. Yeah. I want to be a child specialist. Mm -hmm. And after that 1.5 years of working together, mm -hmm. you go you go your own way. Yeah. And so in the surgery direct, field, direction. yes, yeah. Then you have to like specialize in surgery. You go, you go, you have to do like, uh, you have to work in the surgery department for let's say four or five years, mm -hmm. and then you will be a specialized surgeon. Yeah. Whereas I start working in the child department, in the, in, in, in the pediatric department, and then I'll be a child specialist after four or five years of working in the pediatric department. Interesting. Okay, now let's talk about the opportunities outside the Norway. How is that? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you can, as a medical doctor from Norway, your degree is recognized by almost every European country, including the UK or, you know, other big countries as well. Mm -hmm. uh, if for America, you have to obviously take the USMLE. Uh, that's for everybody. Mm -hmm. But your degree is recognized uh, in all <coughs> European Union countries as well. So you can simply go there, you know, maybe clear the language exam and start working. So you don't have to do any additional certification or training before no, you no, start no, working? No, 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 not for most countries. All right. So Aram, do you have anything else to say? Yeah, yes. just like one more thing. So mm -hmm. previously I talked about, you know, if, um, if there's anybody or any students who want to pursue a medical degree in Norway who have not done their MBBS in, in their home country. Yeah. What you have to do is that, you, if you, and if you do not have the merit, right, it's going to be extremely hard for you, I'm going to be honest, because merit requirements are extremely high. But yeah. one possibility is, could be that, you know, you pursue your bachelor in your home country, let's say in in some medical related field, you do your bachelor's, and then you again apply for master's here in Norway, for let's say neuroscience or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then once you come to Norway for your master's, then you can actually start, you know, taking your subjects in Norwegian privately, yeah. in order to improve your GPA from high school, because you can, you know, privately do your medical uh, high school or college subjects from in Norway while you are doing your masters mm -hmm. and then you know try and build up your GPA yeah. and, and to to meet the merit requirements 
in Norway. Okay. Again, and this is going to be a, a pretty tiring procedure because you have you don't have the merit or you're not really qualified, so you have yeah. to make yourself qualified. And yeah. then you have to improve your GPA, mm. take the subjects, learn the language. So that's going to be a pretty tiring procedure, but it's it's, it's going to be worth it in the end. Exactly. Uh, but as I already mentioned, for if you already are a doctor, simply apply to a master's degree in some medical related field get to Norway first and once you are here yeah. you can learn Norwegian language over here you can clear your language exam you can clear your licensing exam you can, you can do you whatever you want to do basically the important thing is to come to Norway and yeah. the easiest way is to come through masters yes all right perfect so I think that's it for the video and um, thank you so much Aram for your time today and for pleasure. all the information it's a pleasure being here thank yeah. you for inviting and me and as I mentioned earlier or I have mentioned earlier he has also a YouTube channel which is uh, all about medical studies in Norway and how you can come to Norway if you want to come and I will definitely link his channel in the description box you can go and subscribe to his channel I will highly recommend that and thank you for watching and if you have any question I will link his Instagram and mine sure. too you can definitely ask any question if you want to and that's it for the video. Thank you so much for coming and Allah Peace. Peace.